When I saw her last, her home was walking away from her. She sat on a couch in a bathrobe, sliding off her large naked body, with an axe sticking between dirty bedsheets, staring at the broken TV, candy wrappers on the floor, empty bottles under the table. I sat next to her, scared, holding my breath. Her body was turning back in time, back into a female child, shining pink skin in a snow hole, burst by a child woman and taken away from home by those who thought her body had a use other than her own. We sat together looking at the pink flowers wallpaper. I didn't try to take her axe away. I knew that was home walking away from her. She didn't feel safe. I wanted to grab her in my arms and cradle her to sleep. Like a snake biting its tail, I wanted to burst her one more time. This time giving her a home to start from. I held her swollen hand, noticing that her fingers looked like mine. I remember them combing my long hair. Now weak and sleepy, they were losing memories of home. She has built home from the shattered pieces the beginning was. The home I dreamed of for years, pressing my nomadic face against foreign parts of life. The home that fed me food, love, and life. It was walking away from us now. Unbearably homesick, I left her for the heat of the day. An American, walking through the town of my past, trying to fit into the same steps my little sandals did decades ago, trying to find leftovers of home, finding that town was made of paper cutouts and stitched into a wall. When I returned, TV was on, the picture jumping up and down, my grandma still there, with home walking away from her.